And this brings us to our final award winner. Janita Petrali is a nutritional biochemist who spent years studying not only what makes the body well, but what destroys it. She has extensively studied the effects of psychiatric drugs on the brain and the body, and will tell you three things unreservedly. One, you will always find an undetected medical condition underlying psychiatric symptoms. Two, psychiatric drugs are neurotoxic chemicals which literally destroy healthy tissues and cells. Three, psychiatry is 100% wrong. People can get better. <laughs> people from ever going on to psychiatric drugs in the first place, but she developed a program to safely get people off psychiatric drugs. And she has helped thousands of people to do so. Considering there are 100 million people worldwide currently taking addictive, toxic psychiatric drugs, and very few practitioners trained in how to withdraw them, Janita realized she was also export a program to medical practitioners around the world. And this is how the mental, green mental health movement was born. All the governments are offering today is toxic drugs disguised as medicine for mental health issues. The marriage between the pharmaceutical companies and psychiatry is now owning every process of the mental health care system in the United states now. That has to be penetrated and dismantled. Everyone's so convinced that their friend has bipolar, you know? Everyone's so convinced that their mother is schizophrenic and that these drugs are actually medicine. They got everybody fooled. So we're all about getting out there, unraveling the lies. Green mental health care practices actually produce far better patient outcomes at a fraction of the cost. It's non-addictive, it's non-invasive, and it's non-toxic. Unfortunately, people have been trained to believe that when they have anxiety or depression, that that is all in their head. And that is not true. 95% of the time is some toxicity in your environment, your food, chemical sensitivities, allergies. There's many, many, many things today that are damaging the body and the mind. People are toxic today, extremely toxic. Recently, there was a meta study done on pregnant women. As they gave birth, they took an inch of the umbilical cord. Now, by the way, remember, pregnant women are typically the ones taking the better care of themselves, right? Well, there was an average of over 300 toxic chemicals in that umbilical cord. You don't want to deal with anxiety by going off to a doctor, to a psychiatrist, that is going to give you a pill that's going to cause more toxicity, more damage to the body. Every single psychiatric drug does damage to the brain and nervous system. They say the term chemical lobotomy. It's not just a term, it's an actual condition. This is not, we're not playing here. This is an actual condition. A lobotomy uses a knife to sever tissues, to cut communication between cells and between action centers of the brain. These drugs are doing that chemically. I know as a biochemist how damaging these lifestyles are. You see the tissue death, you see the cells dying. In psychiatry, there's absolutely no reverence for the body whatsoever. I have seen people on psychiatric drugs that are completely shut down emotionally and psychologically. It's almost like being locked in a box of existence having no interplay, no interaction with your environment and others, and it is scary. It's a form of torture. And what makes that chemical prison worse is that people actually believe it's them that they have a disease, a disease that doesn't exist. Remember that. What I had to do to create my therapies to heal people from the damage of psychiatric drugs, but I had to go into full-out pharmacological study to understand the effects and the damage that those drugs did on the brain and the body in order to reverse that damage. I have a 100% success rate getting people off of psychiatric drugs and rebalance. A 100% success rate. are responsible for the way things are today. We have created the world that we live in, but we can make a difference. When they get off these psychiatric drugs and they start falling in love with life again, I tell you, it's what keeps me going. When Nelson Mandela was released from prison from all those years, I, I, I watched the video roll. 
I saw the joy and gratitude in his eyes and tears flowing. I'm constantly reminded of him. It's the same exact thing that these people are going through. It's like they're being released from prison. I feel like I'm witnessing someone be reborn. They cry tears of joy because they thought they were lost and it was the end and it was over. And it, it's not ever over. You're breathing. All we gotta do is get those drugs out of you and you'll be fine. Yet they have no cures, no successes. 
successes, only victims. It is time for a new medical model, a new model of mental health care to emerge, one with respect for the body and mind and compassion for those in distress, one that treats patients with dignity, one that has proven success, one that actually cures. That model is green mental health care. For without you, without CCHR, many of us would not have a voice. We would not have a platform for our work, and our battle would be a difficult, if not impossible, one. Together, we can make a difference, and we will win this fight to restore human rights to the field of mental health. We need to spread the word. There is a non-toxic, non-invasive, and non-addictive solution for mental health issues. And we must, all of us, Refuse, refuse to settle for less. You are all heroes and you are all healers. Thank you.